Hi everybody, it's Tatiana, and I want to just do a short intro to let you know that black lives still do and always will matter. Black everything matters. And if that is not something you agree with, then this is not the space for you, and you are invited to leave. Hi everybody, it's Tatiana, and today I'm coming to share with you the review for the last book that I read in the month of February. This is the last of the books that was picked by Brittany over at Melanin Eclectic whose channel I will link in the description box below and I'm going to do this a little differently because in my TBR video I pulled the wrong book <laughs> and then when I went back and actually looked at my reading planner that I had in my hand at the time and still pulled the wrong book I saw that I needed to grab the other book so I did not share this book with you all in my TBR and this book is Under the Udala Trees by Chanela Oparanta. So I'm going to read the back like I did in that TBR video. Ijeoma comes to age as her nation does. Born before independence, she is 11 when civil war breaks out in the young republic of Nigeria. Sent away to safety, she meets another dis displaced child and they, star-crossed, fall in love. They are from dif different ethnic communities. They are both girls. But when their love is discovered, Ijeoma learns that she will have to hide this part of herself. And there is a cost to living inside a lie. Um, that's all of it that I am going to read. This was probably the best book that I read in the month of February for many reasons. Number one, I have only read one other book that has any type of reference to the civil war that took place in Nigeria. The, I think that's right. And that's War Girls. Uh, and so I had not read another book set during that time, but after reading War Girls, I wanted to read more books uh, that had to do with that war, not knowing that I already had this on my bookshelf and that it had to do with the war. I don't, I think I bought this because I saw somebody review it and, or I saw somebody haul it and sight unseen knowing that it was an African author. I just went and bought the book because I wanted to have more African authors on my bookcase. Having said that, this book is beautifully written. It feels like, or felt like for me, that even as I was reading it, I was listening to Ijeoma, or Ajioma, not 100% sure how to say her name, was t I was listening to her tell me her story. And I was listening to her share with me the struggles that she felt with not knowing why this attraction that she had to women because she experienced this with the experiences this with another young girl when they are when they're teenagers and so for them it's it's how it it's how it should be and having her their love uh exposed and what she goes through with her mother um, after that and just not understanding why it's such a bad thing to her mother um, for her to feel that way about another woman. There are so many times where she attempts to get her mother to see her and her mother misses it. And even though it's not said outright, you feel the neglect in how she's telling her story. You feel um, how out of place she feels in her own home. And at some point she makes the decision that she's going to have to, and she's coerced into this decision by a few people. But the decision is made that she's gonna try to live and be the woman that her mother believes is right for her to be, to please her mother. This book was so, emotional like I didn't cry during the book but and it's when I say emotional I don't mean crying or anything that it makes you feel that way but you can understand where these characters are coming from as someone who is cis female and heterosexual um it was very precious for me to have this book written from the from Ijeoma's perspective and seeing what she went through as a lesbian living in Nigeria and how difficult that was for her. And not that I had any issue understanding that being, being 
someone in America. Um, but because I don't have that experience to see the day to day that Ijeoma was dealing with and the disappointments in relationships, friendships, relationship with her mother um, that she had and the community of uh, the LGBTQ community that she becomes involved with when she's older and seeing how they handle their, uh, their being oppressed and they're basically being hunted and when someone in their community is exposed and abused because of their sexual orientation it just it really is an eye opener i cannot recommend this story enough i cannot say with enough words how wonder how one how beautifully this story is composed and put together how much you appreciate and just really love Ijeoma as she is sharing with you her story there are some things some things that happen that are on the side of like fanatical religious religion um that happen and Ijeoma is giving her responses as her mother is dogmatically trying to instill and force her to see how and why her mother views what she is experiencing and feeling a sin and Ijeoma's responses are fucking dead on with the actual BS of what is happening in the story in the Bible story that her mother <laughs> is sharing with her and her mom is just not getting it oh my gosh I don't know if I'm doing this book justice aside from saying this was phenomenal um, this hands down the best book that I read in the month of February and I read some damn good books in February so that's like nothing that I read in February was a dud or was just okay I read some damn good books in February and this is at the top of the list so I'm gonna read a brief section um, from this book just to give you an idea of number one it how idioma well how Oparanta writes and being inside of idioma's head but we were in love or at least i believed myself completely to be i craved amina's presence for no other reason than to have it it was certainly friendship too this intimate companionship with someone who knew me in a way that no one else did it was a heightened state of friendship Maybe it was also a bit of infatuation, but what I knew for sure was that it was also love. Maybe love was some combination of friendship and infatuation. A deeply felt affection accompanied by a certain sort of awe and by gratitude and by a desire for a lifetime of togetherness. And I just like, there's so, this book is just, filled with beautiful things in Ijeoma's head and yeah this is the only book I don't know what else Oparanta has written this is the only book by her that I own so this is the only book of hers that I've read I will definitely be looking for more because if more if there is more that's as beautiful as this I must have it <laughs> So that is all that I am going to share on this book today. I really hope that what I was attempting to share with the beauty of this book and the beauty of the character and the mind that is Ijeoma came through in this video because I absolutely adored this story. So yeah, I'm gonna go. Thank you all for watching and I hope you have a good week, weekend, whenever you see this video. Peace out.